What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needle Podcast, episode 119. I'll be honest, boys. I was kind of beat today. I just I took a little nap, little nappy poo action. But this is really 119 straight weeks of the Needle Podcast. This has been through bad Madden weeks, great Madden weeks. We've had Madden champions on the stream. We've had uh, Rex was on the show. We've had tons of things. Uh, that we've done for 119 straight weeks. So uh, this is can't stop the show. There is no break. There is no turn down every single week. A nappy poo. I'll be honest. I'm not a nap type of guy, boys. I'm really not a nap type of guy. Let me know. So do you, can you guys take naps? For me, it's either the big sleep or it's, there's no. it's hard as hell to be like, yo, I'm about to lay down for like an hour. And wake up. I feel like that's impossible for me, bro. Like I, I, I feel like uh, I feel like I, I feel like napping for me, not the biggest, not the biggest option. I'll be honest. It's, it's really talk to me, man. Y'all nap all the. T- oh, man, I feel like if I try to plan it, it's the worst, bro. Like it's the worst. I feel like planning the nap never works. Like the random nap. You know, I don't know. I mean, a four-hour nap. Do I? Is my what do, do I? What says battle with no T? Like, what's going on here? I don't know. Like, why? Why are we like? Why? Like, this is what I never understood about the world. The world is just so quick to find your typos and slander them, without using their own mind and realizing, hey. Maybe that's a typo. Maybe he just typed it fast and didn't realize it. But instead, they'll find the way to drag you. You know what I'm saying? That just shows human beings. Like, is that where human beings are? Let's find every opportunity there is to drag somebody. And we'll start with a typo. Like, and that's why, and that's the end of the plebs. Like, watch the throne. He just ruined it for the plebs. That's the end of the plebs for the show. Check back in after the podcast. If you want to be a plebe, that's all. I'll, you'll be free after the podcast, after the show, and that's it. Baggy Simpson, we had to Baggy Simpson the plebes real early. Had to get them out of there. You know, they got they got real out of pocket. The first thing I saw from a plebe was uh, pointing out typos. We got a lot of typos. It's just like I've never been one. To point out the typo. I feel like I can always read the typo. You know, I can always see the typo. I understand it as a man that's typed things before. I feel like if you've ever typed things before, you've messed up a thing or two. Right? So, why would you be that judgmental over typos? Yeah. My hair will not grow back. I mean, it would. I still have a lot of hair. I have more hair than Clef. For sure. For sure. You know, shit, I got more hair than Problem. 100%. But I feel like the baldy looks better. To be honest with you guys. I feel like it's a good look. I feel like I pull it off pretty well. You know what I'm saying? I would rather have... I would rather have the baldy than the struggle cut. That's what I'm saying. Once you go bald, listen, because we're all men here, right? A third of you in the chat is going to struggle with some type of hair at some point, right? A third of us, if not a half of us, in the, you're going to struggle with some type of hair. Once you shave your head, the powers that you have, the freedom, you know, just the absolute, you know, sheer magnificence that you feel after the baldy cannot be compared to anything else a human goes through. Really. It's not even, uh, and honestly, it's a hard decision, but I'm telling you, if you're out there, if you're out there and you're contemplating the baldy, do it right now. Literally leave the podcast, go home, shave the shit. Get back. You'll be here in time for the end of the pie. You'll you'll be here in time for the unbanned request. Right here. You'll be here in time for the unbanned request. Right here. You'll be here. 
and you'll be like, wow, I made it. Now, I asked Vols how many subs for Vols to have a baldy, and he was scared. Baldy Vols might go crazy. Be honest. Baldy, that's what I'm saying. Baldy Vols might go crazy. That's Wesley, that's what I'm saying. See, he don't understand. Wes, bro, Baldy Vols might go crazy. You know what I'm saying? That that bro, pugs. That's what I'm saying. Why would you why would you not want the body over the Vols, the wall of Vols? The wall of Vols. Hey, at least gotta try it. He got options right now. He can always go back to the wall of Vols. Like, you can have the body and go back to the wall of Vols. I don't have those options now. That's what I've been trying to tell you kids. Y'all got options to try everything. Maybe that's not your look. Don't get stuck on the wall of Vols. You know what I'm saying? If all of a sudden, you know, maybe something else pops. That's all I've been trying to tell the kids. You have optionality right now. When you get older, like me, you don't really have optionality. Like Clef, he don't got optionality no more. You know what I'm saying? He can't get a flat top. He can't get the fro. He can't go cornrows. You know what I'm saying? He can't do that. But you guys have optionality. You know what I'm saying? Being 17 with a baldy. Listen, I always had the zero. I don't think I had a zero. I think I always went with a one, though. But I always had a one. Pretty much all the way up until I was probably 20. Shit, 23, 24. That's when I grew my hair because I didn't have. You know why? Because I was running out of optionality. I might as well try to get some optionality in, really. Yeah. So, that's what I'll ask you guys, chat, before we start. If you had the option, if, you, if they came down and you got one haircut for the rest of your life, you can have the Vol of Vos or you can have the Baldy. Are you picking the Baldy or are you picking the Wall of Vos? That's what I'm asking you guys. One haircut, rest of your life, Wall of Vos or Baldy. What are you picking? K okay, Harry going with the wall of Vols. Okay. Javi's going Vols. King Will going with the Vols. Vols, how do you realize the strength of facial hair? Once you get the mustache, you'll be there. And I'll tell you, man, if you're young like Vols and you're waiting for your facial hair to grow in, right? Vols probably got a little peach fuzz, right? Take a razor to that. Build up its strength. You got to build up the strength of the facial hair by taking the razor to it. You know what I'm saying? Don't try don't don't try to hold on to your to your face to your early facial hairs, for real for real. You got to get it out of there. Like Pavin got the little be the little struggle beard and he done had that joint coming in for a long time. But if he took these last couple of years to shave it off, it would be in way more brolic right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's getting, he's got to the point where it's, it's there now. You know what I'm saying? He's there. But if he would cut that joint off, if he would shave, Stevie, I, Stevie, I believe in it, bro. I believe in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Pop would have had, he would have had the Pop goatee if he, if he started, when he went to belt, if he started shaving the little, the peach fuzz. But he, he's here now. He made it. Tim, what's up, buddy? Y'all ain't man. We ain't we ain't even talking about nothing. We just been talking. We really didn't talk nothing. If Vose shaves his head, I'll shave the beard for sure. I would lock that right now. If Vose shaves his head, I'll shave the beard. Yes. It's easy. Beard grows back in a week. That's really not difficult. Really, no, he's going to, whatchamacallit, he would, uh, his hair would take way longer, we'll grow back, my beard would be back in a week. <laughs> Vos would cry after a bad haircut. No, he gotta go bald. Dial, he gotta, he gotta take, he gotta take the, he gotta take the razor to it, bro, for me to take my shit off. 
I'm never shaving my eyebrows. Those who already get bullied. That's what's crazy. Imagine a kid that gets bullied talking about how bad he would get bullied. You know? There it is, see? Ball votes for Bob. I mean, he got to switch something up for the next Bob Wars. He on the verge of being out, Lou. Vol's on the verge of being out, honestly. He got to do something different. Yeah, I'm not shaving my eyebrows. Y'all got me chopped. That's not happening. Yeah, why would you get bullied for being bald? Yeah, let me tell you something. Bro, the ball jokes, they, bro, they really not good. The ball jokes really not powerful. They're really not. Like, ball jokes are not good. Like, they're really, you're bald, you like Mr. Clean. And then it's like, okay. They're really not that powerful, bro. They're really not that powerful. They're really not that bad. They're really not that bad, dude. Yeah, Elmer Fudd. What they got? And then it's like, okay. Listen, let me tell you something about life. You can't really make fun of something like when God Himself makes you that way. It's not my fault. Right? Like Vilma. He got the Jeff Van Gundy. It's not his fault. That's the way God made that man. He can't control it. You know what I'm saying? You really can't make fun of people for shit like that. Because that's like, they, they had no control over that. They didn't make that decision. You know? Some people make a decision to be a loser. You can make fun of them. Or have their certain haircut. Or dress a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And that's easier to make fun of because they chose that. They chose it. I didn't choose this. You know what I'm saying? I, that's the way I was made. So for me, yeah. You know? So it's. It, I don't think you can make fun of people for that. Am I copying a VR set? I honestly, one, that shit is buku expensive. I don't want to spend money on it because I don't want to tell you how many video games I have that I don't play. Like, bro. Like. <sighs> the amount of money, I like even the Nintendo Switch, bro. I have like 10 games for Nintendo Switch that I bro, like never play them shits. So it's like, bro. And I really don't have the room to be doing the Earl. I probably could do the Earl in here. But I seen them punching TVs and shit. I don't want to be like knocking shit off my walls and shit. Like, bro, I feel like I don't have a... I really don't have a space to be doing the whole boxing. Because the reason Earl always lose his boxing shit, right? The reason Earl always loses... He don't move enough. He flat-footed. He don't know how to fight. He don't know how to box. I, I told y'all, boxing is like 80% legs. And he just be in there just like, <laughs> he be in there just flailing with the arms. It don't be no, like, he have no, like, movement. Yeah, he is stand still, knockdown shooter. Just full sending. He don't block, he just like. <laughs> no mellow, see, but. <laughs> Oh, man. For real, dude. <laughs> like, so for me, I don't think I really have the room, the room to do the VR boxing in this in this place. When I get a new place, when I get a house with more space, I'll definitely be copping the VR. Because I think VR is going to be more and more going forward. Yeah, if Earl did wheelchair boxing, is wheelchair boxing a thing? 
I, 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 it's probably out there. Wheelchair boxing. It probably is. Earl might. Earl really. He might really win that. He might really pop. <laughs> Yo, the one punch power. Bro, he be getting fried, bro. No, he going to lose, bro. I mean, this room is kind of temporary. So we get another house. For real, for real. It started off like... It started off... I was on like a Walmart table with my computer before I brought my desk here. Earl won a fight once? He ain't win, bro. Just picture... This is what's crazy. If Earl won a fight, just picture what the other guy looked like. All I'm saying. Just picture that. <laughs> Throw some real punches. He knocked dude out. He might be hell, boys. All right. I did go to the mailbox today, boys. I went to the P.O. box. A lot of you guys asked me, um, can I send stuff for the baby for CP2? The P.O. box, if you put exclamation point P.O. box in the chat, the P.O. box will pop up. P.O. box, boom. There it is. If you guys want to say anything, my man Eric, who's in the chat all the time, Send this news. Congratulations to you and Mrs. W on the newest member, Eric and Lauren. Eric, my man Eric Faye is always in here. Sent me the Eagles. Boom, the Eagles onesie right there with the Eagle logo. But on the back, big dub for the CP2, man. CP2 right there on the back of his jersey. Now, it, number two might really be his number. I don't know. Number two might really be his number. Now, you know what I'm saying, might really be his number now with the with the CP2 on the back. Yeah, my man Eric Fate, Eric Fate, he's always in here most of the time. So I don't know if he's here now, but the CP2, yeah, that's tough. Honestly, when I first saw, it, I didn't even see the, I didn't even see it had anything in the back. Like I said, just got the Eagles logo on the front, nice green. Set up. So that's dope. Can't wait. So. I, like I said, we said, is number two really his number? Jeter? I have the Jeter rookie card. Jeter might be one of his people. Number two is a good number. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. No, I don't think Jalen Hurts is mixed. I think he is kind of... No, Jalen Hurts is like brown skin. He's on the... He's like kind of lightest brown skin, though. I don't know. I don't know. But he's definitely not mixed, I don't think. Lonzo is number two. Yeah, we'll see. It could be a possibility. It could be a possibility. I mean, at the end of the day, ultimately, I, I think he'll pick his number. But we'll see. But shout out to Eric for that. Uh, definitely on the list. We got the cards from Skomo with the Volve Clico champagne from Skomo. We got the car from RG. My man Shrek flew in the other onesie. That I, I think I put that in the wash. The other Eagles onesie. So definitely a lot of things in the mailbox, CP2's mailbox. CP2 might go crazy. We actually went out today. She had a doctor's appointment, went to Costco. We brought him to Costco. It was his first Costco trip. I'll be honest, he was pretty much asleep the whole time. Uh, and then we went to, there's this place called World Market. Because, you know, she's like from Europe and everything. So World Market has a bunch of like European shit in there. We always walk through there and get different chocolates of the world and knickknacks of Europe and Africa and stuff like that. Costco is nasty, bro. No, I didn't touch any of the samples. Yo, I'm afraid of samples now, bro. I'm afraid of samples. I'm afraid of the Costco samples. No. 
No, I'm afraid of the samples. Beers of the world, yeah, shit like that, old man mutt, yeah. Guinness. I kind of like a Guinness. I kind of like a Guinness. I don't know, I kind of like the stout every once in a while. Now, the stout, I feel like you can only do 12 ounces or something. You, uh, you're not pounding, you're not pounding 40 ounces of stout. All right, if you're pounding 40 ounces of stout, you're a nasty fuck, really. But I could do 12 ounces of stout. You know what I'm saying? You ever had like the real, real stouty stouts? Like the dragon's blood or dragon's milk or shit like that? Like the real stouts? Bro, the real stouts. Them joints. Not bad. But like I said, you, you go, like Guinness, you could have one, one or two Guinness, right? Dragon's milk, like you could have like eight ounces, bro. Coffee oatmeal stout. I mean, you're you're getting a little too uh, a little too uh, cute for me. I don't know. I I I I'm not the craft beer type a type of guy anymore. But it's like people take that shit too serious. Forty ounce stout or Firebird out of a mason jar. I'm not the biggest Firebird guy. Not that it's nasty, um, or Fireball, Firebird is a fi- fire, fire, <laughs> Firebird. No Fireball, probably the easiest shot you could take. I don't know if you guys. It's probably the easiest liquor in the world to drink. Um, Golden Monkey is. Yeah, see, I was a big Victory guy. Philadelphia, Vic, I, I think Victory is like Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, Golden Monkey was... I, I put everybody on the Golden Monkey. Yes, I've had the White Henny Warhawk. Yeah, Guinness. Shit, it's hard, bro. The Kraken. <laughs> I only drink Fireball when I'm watching Twilight. And I've never seen Twilight. There see Fireball. Yeah. Fireball is like, I imagine a lot of people's first shot is fireball, right? I don't know. Other than like when you're in eighth grade and you find any liquor to drink. Really. It was pinnacle. We had, the struggle was pinnacle. Pinnacle was the, I guess it wasn't really a struggle, but pinnacle was the cheapest. My first shots was 99 bananas. That's that's how we went. That's how... Listen, when your first shots are 99 bananas... Bro. No, wild turkey is good shit, Joe. To see ninety nine bananas is like, I don't, bro. Rumple mints. See, VTech always put me on the rumple mints. Honestly, it's not the worst. Kind of, it's honestly not the worst shot. Kind of nasty liquor, but not the worst shot really. Ninety nine bananas is bro. Seagrams. More than what? All right, we're getting real nasty right now. We're getting real nasty right now, boys. I'll be honest. I just heard a story of shitting on the floor. I don't know what's going on. See? I just came with his Malibu. Malibu, yeah. Malibu, yeah. So I'm saying, Flores, you get the Michelobes. I'm in a Michelob lifestyle now, bro. Boone's Farm. 
I will be honest, the Malibu Dr. Pepper Skimble drink is kind of gas. I don't know if there's a better drink walking the, walking the earth, bro. The Malibu Dr. Pepper. It's kind of good. Pops, they take it too far. Really. Malibu is a high school girl drink. It is. It is. My man, Dune Squad with the seven months. And my man, Tatted Noob with the three months. Tatted. It's kind of a glitchy drink. Not a drink I would ever order. You know? It's not it's not it's not a drink I would order. I would never order Malibu at a bar. Never. You know, yo, my one buddy Aaron Durag. I don't know Durag Dwighty. I don't know if I, the, my, my football guy that was on my football. Remember I told you he was like he jumps out the moon and would dunk on everybody and he was the wide receiver on our team. But I told you my man Aaron, he never drank, right? He never drank ever, like ever drank. But he did like Malibu and pineapple and Malibu. Or what's it called? It's a drink. I swear to God, there's a Malibu drink. What the hell is it called? Oh, it's like, a, it's the most punk ass drink ever, dude. It's like just Malibu. No, 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 no. It might just be Malibu and pineapple Malibu or some shit. Pineapple and Malibu, really. I swear it was like a drink, though. Like its own special Malibu drink. Malibu Bay Breeze. Oh my God. There it is. Bust out. There it is. The Malibu Bay Breeze. That's a nasty bust out. But he would always order that shit. The Malibu Bay Breeze. That is a Skimbo special right there. Oh my. Yes, that's it. Malibu Bay Breeze. It's like Malibu pineapple and like orange juice or some shit. Yes, and my man Aaron would always order that shit. Oh, man. Now, I'll be honest. Not not the worst tasting thing, but as a man, there's got to be some type of boundaries. That's a boundary you can't really... Right? I, that's a, I, I can't go that way, man. The gin. Gin is gin is a different type. I have some Bombay Sapphire on the shelf back here. Gin is a different type of it's a different type of punch in the face, honestly. Malibu and Big Red. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> What's Big Red? <laughs> when you say Big Red, I think about cinnamon. Am I wrong? I think about cinnamon gum. Is that is that what Big Red is? Yeah, gin is a little different, bro. Moscow Mule. Uh, you got to be a douchebag to order the Moscow Mule. I remember the Moscow Mule had its phase, right? Moscow Mule. Holy shit. Moscow. That, yo, that's just nasty. Okay, Eli with the old fashioned red pop. <laughs> Moscow mule with the with the uh the bronze or what is it? The copper, the copper cup. Yeah, you're a tool. I mean, listen, it was like I had a couple months of a Moscow mule, the copper cup. Yeah. I was like, oh, what's this? Try it. Not bad, but come on, bro. Yeah, let me get a Moscow Mule with my garnish. Moscow Mules are glitched. What's the worst drink to order at a bar? Malibu Bay Breeze, 100%. 100%. I don't know what Cisco is, Gino. I don't know what that is. I just get iced coffee with no sugar, just cream. Straight killer, Pena? 
mojitos, 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 <laughs> mojito. And this goes back as I see Brusque said mojitos. It reminds me of when Joke and Evil O got the blue, the blue Long Island mojito thing. Questionable. I feel like your drink, like as a man, like I shouldn't be able to see your drink before I see you, right? Like your drink shouldn't be more prominent than you. Like you, I shouldn't be able to see your drink from across the room. Like, yo, go talk to that guy with the red drink or the umbrella in his drink. Or yo, go get the guy with the, with the oranges popping out of his drink. Nah, come on, bro. Like, I shouldn't be able to describe you by your drink that you're holding. I was a big whiskey ginger ale guy. I, I, I like a whiskey ginger ale. That was all Jameson ginger ale. That was always like my, if, if I didn't get a beer, it was always whiskey ginger ale was pretty much the go-to really right there. Yep, Jack and Ginger Ale, Jameson Ginger Ale, shit like that, really. Then I just went to, sh like uh, like Tommy said, just shot in a beer, really. Blue Moon, if if your beer needs a garnish, it shouldn't be a beer. You might have, if you order, listen, the man that orders a Blue Moon also orders a Moscow Mule. And that's fine. Like Matt Marcou, big Moscow Mule guy. Matt Marcou is a big mule guy. 100%. He's a big Moscow mule guy. Yo, what the... Oh, that... Bro. Yo, I swear to God. Kiv was drinking some shit in, in this joint called the Greyhounds, bro. Kiv was drinking some shit called the Greyhounds. I don't remember what it was. But it was like a Moscow mule type of thing, bro. It was like <laughs> Cosmopolitans. Kid was drinking Greyhounds. It was like, I don't know, it was like grapefruit or some shit like that, bro. There it is, Wiggy. Grey Goose, grapefruit juice, grapefruit. Yep. Yep, Greyhounds. Greyhounds. No. That nasty. You know what's the nastiest? Is like her mom is African, right? Afri like, bro. Yo, some of like the liquor she got. Bro, it's like. Now, I don't know what, what type of. Are you guys like. Are, like I see people talk about Haitian. Is there any Caribbeans in here? Africans or like. Asians, what is there any different type of nationalities in here to the point where like bro the liquor that she got is like she was like, Yeah, they saved this in it's like from the root of the tree and she keeps the root of the tree in the cabinet for twenty years or some shit. Bro. And they don't give you a shot. That's what's crazy. It's not a shot. It's literally a bottle cap. Like, it's a bottle cap. They fill the bottle cap. You feel me? They fill the bottle cap. And it's like dirt in, in the shot. Like, bro, you know, the shot comes with dirt. Like, you're getting some type of dirt. Moonshine type of, yes. Pure moonshine from the root. And what's crazy is, like, the bottle's, like, wrapped in ceram wrap, bro. Like, bro, yes. It's like... The bottles in Saram wrap. It takes like ten minutes to, to to take all the shit off of the bottle. Like, yo, it's like a secret family recipe, bro. This is nothing. Like, why are y'all getting? This is not good. Why is this like? Why? Why is this being brought to me as something that I'm supposed to cherish? Cement. Yeah, some. I'm telling you. Like, no, bro. Yes, they preserve. Yes, Jesse, it's like a mummy. It's preserved. 
Like, no, bro. Puchin Boxside? 100 proof. Bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, that shit different, dude. That shit's different. Everclear? Y'all y'all had the Everclear? I done had the Everclear before, for sure. The Everclear shots? 150. One time I... One time we I had, uh, like, a, a cup. No lie. Like, you know, like a little cup like this. It was 151 Everclear and the Hennessy. And we they mixed it. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And I did that. It's kind of rough. Mad dog. I never was a mad dog 2020 type of guy. Yeah, Everclear. Nah, that shit is... Everclear. That shit is nasty. Stance on margaritas. Nothing wrong with a margarita. I feel like you need to be at... You need to be at some type of Mexican spot to get a margarita, right? It has to be like Taco Tuesday to get a margarita. You don't just get a margarita because it's Thursday night and you're out. You know, do you just order the margarita? I feel like you kind of got to be in that type of vibe for the margarita. I don't know. It's a Cinco de Mayo type of thing. (sighs) Order a margarita from Buffalo Wild Wings. Nah, I'm, I'm cool, bro. Yo, Everclear, you feel Everclear down to your asshole. Like, for real. The Everclear goes from, when you drink it, to your asshole, 100%. I was on the Incredible Hulk. I remember, um, was it, I don't know if I went to, like, the freshman dance. It might have. Y'all had freshman dance, like, not like the freshman prom or the frosh, I think they called the shit. That's when I had my first, uh, Incredible Hulk, the frosh. I ain't never had a freshman, the freshman dance in high school. From, is that what y'all call it? I don't know. I think, I think that's when I had my first Incredible Hulk. Or it might have been like a, a winter formal or some shit like that, right, chat? Y'all had like little winter formals, right? Yeah, it was just for freshmen. Vale, okay, Vale. So they don't have dances in high school anymore. Are dances in high school not a thing anymore? I I would I would assume that dances in high school they probably canceled them because they want to protect the kids that didn't go to the dance and never got invited. And they want everybody to be included, right? I could assume that one day here that they're going to cancel school dances for real. I could see that. I could see that. You know, we don't want the people that don't have dates to feel left out. We want to include everybody. So it's a little, it's embarrassing. Yeah, I could see that, right? Like Vos, yes, Tommy. Vos probably petitions the dance. You know what? It's not fair for people that get no pussy and can't talk to women. They want to be included too. Do you guys not see that happening in the time going forward? Am I wrong? I'm not even talking about COVID. Like, COVID obviously would put a halt to it. I'm just talking about... I'm talking about the vibe of the country and how soft we have gotten. Yeah. Uh, that's what They want participation trophies for the prom. Margarita mode. Vos petition for predetermined dates. <laughs> what, like a, a wheel? <laughs> we should have a wheel that finds out who's going to date who, um, you know, and put all the boys on a wheel and all the girls on a wheel and spin it. That way we all make sure we have a fair chance to date Abby. We all want to get Abby and, you know, it's not fair that Tim gets Abby and I have never had a chance with Abby. Uh, 
I mean, it's possible. It could be a bust out. Spin the bottle, prom edition. Abby is cold. I will tell you, every chick that was like good looking in like middle school and high school is kind of shot out now. Just saying. They peak too early, especially like the middle school ones. Like think about your middle school crush, like the first chick that was like super like you thought was hot. They're kind of shot out now. Oh, yeah, the, the hot middle school girls, they hit the wall fast, boys. They hit the wall fast. And then you can think about some of the ugly ducklings. That's not bad now, right? That's not bad. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> the late bloomers. <laughs> oh, the late bloomers. It, it's nothing that makes you feel like an ass more than uh like then trying to get with a chick that you ignored for 10 years, right? You ignore a chick for 10 years, then she get kind of hot. You kind of feel like a dick, right? See, legend, you know, right? Like, oh, she's kind of hot now. The worst, bro. When I was in high school, right? My main homie, like one of my best friends, like his girl had a friend, but this girl was big as hell, like big boys, like bro. She made Earl look like, look like he was in shape. She was big, right? But she loved me, bro. Right? She loved me. But so obviously I ignored this chick for 10 years. She had the surgery. Dead ass. And then she came back kind of bad. Bro. And I, bro, I felt, I felt kind of fucked up. Like, am I, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to like, just like. No, it wasn't that. I, I wasn't scarred. I was with the shits. But I kind I'm just saying I felt kind of bad. Like, bro, am I really just gonna just you know, like how can she not like feel some type of way that damn he ignored me all these 10 years and shit? And now he want like Oh, you can forget it. Oh, you could definitely forget it. That's why I had sex with big girls too, just in case. <laughs> oh, Kane is nasty, bro. No, but for real, it's like, I feel like I couldn't really, I couldn't like. Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you the end of the story. You guys can put six and four together, you know. But I'm just saying, yeah, legend, that's what I'm saying. You got, you can't just full send. You got to do it like, you got to like, you got to like accidentally. It got to be an accident, right? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I felt, I, 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 I honestly, it, it was a, it was a. I, I was kind of like, I felt like, bro, like, what? Like, what is, like, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, Tally ain't going to last long, no, bro. They they let him out to the trial. Skimbo, Tally ain't going to last long. He's just here to the trial. Then we're going to see him. Skimbo, we're going to see him Madden, Madden 34. He'll be back. She got the surgery. Tally got jammed up. He got jammed up. Yeah. He was scamming. Tally was on that. He was, you know what Tally got? He's one of those guys that put the thing at the gas station for your credit card. Yeah, he's one of those guys, right? Got the little piece they put in the gas station credit card reader, and he steals your credit card. He's definitely one of those guys. He'll hold one million percent. 
One million percent. Scamming for sure, bro. He might be one of those two, the two hundred to two thousand guys too. You want to turn two hundred to two thousand? <laughs> Tally bands. I got bands. <laughs> He's an ATM scammer. <laughs> Yo, Tally, yeah, yo, you trying to make 2000 The Cash App Method guy. <laughs> the Cash App Method guy is nasty. I can't lie, my whole life I sat around like, bro, they might be right. They, You might be right, though, right? They might really be doing it. And I had dumbass friends. Here go my dumbass friends growing up, right? Yo, it's a scam, right? But they got to give the money to a couple people to make it look real. And what makes you think that you couldn't be one of those couple people? So you could be one of the couple people because they got to give it to some people to make to further credibility. Well, they ain't say credibility. So uh, sometimes you got to try them. I, he was, <laughs> yo, people like Durag, bro. I swear to God. Yo, I swear to God. Yo, Vilma would definitely say some shit like that. Yo, you got, for real. So, if you try 10 of them, and you just get six of them to give you some money, then you winning. I never did nothing like that, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's some nasty shit out here, bro. It is some nasty shit out here, man. Legitability. Hell yeah. Yo, that's for their legitability. They got to give it to somebody for the legitability. And you could be that somebody. Unless you're sleeping. All right, that's not a copy pasta. Relax. Facts box. Facts. Yo, the YouTube videos are not monetized. We, we talk about too much nasty stuff. Let's talk about Madden. Let's talk about Madden, dude. Let's talk about Madden. All right, boys. Did you, who, who played in the Madden Classic this weekend? What is this? Oh, it's the wrong one. Who played in the Madden Classic? Who played in the Madden Classic, boys? I played in the Madden Classic. I had a good time. I'll be honest. I had a good time. I had a good time. I had a good time. Wu went 5-0 and on the Xbox. The return of the Wu? Is Wu tough? There it is. Is Wu tough? I love the format. Everybody's dick sucking the format. That's what I say. Everybody's dick sucking the format. And I'll be honest, it was pretty good. Not mad at it. Where am I ranked? Oh, two for look at me. Big six and three out here, man. Big six and three. Look at those 12 and 3. Let's go. No, but uh, so if you guys didn't know the Madden Classic, um, it was, I believe, what is it? What do you think, guys? Like 1,200 people signed up. And you pretty much, you go on this site and you press a button to find a game and it matches you up with one of those 1,200 people and you can play for seven hours. And whoever has the best record, we see Noah the Madden Challenge champ. You guys know Noah, of course, had the best record and became number one. And whoever had the best record, they ranked them up up to 512 people. Which, um, if you're any good, let's see exactly, uh, you know, where is 512 and who qualified for 512. Which is actually, I mean, pretty, very, it's a lot of people, right? 
512 is how does somebody have an avatar hold up who is this space jam oh he's winning a tournament what is this how do you get this thing did you like do a profile on this shit oh he's cracked he's cracked for this no i'm not gonna start this all over last but last is gonna be brutal like last was not the way 1200 people Nelson is buns. Imagine being the last person on the list. I'll be honest. If you're the last, like Nelson is buns, bro, I'll be honest. Maybe Madden's not for you, Nelson. Tough day for Nelson. 0-3. And, and you know what? What made them put Nelson as the last person on the list? I would be pissed. if you, Not only did you go 0-3, but you they chose you to be last on the list. So you got this shit pissed out of you, huh? To be last on the list. You know what I'm saying? Buns has no game. You know what? And these people are pussy. You know these fucking people? These guys? How do you not finish your four games? At what point? This is my point. At what point do you go 0-3 and say, you know what? That's enough. I'm not even going to try the fourth game. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm not even going to try the fourth game. Like, you got to be a, you got to be a, oh, you got to be a bitch. <laughs> After the second game, you said, all right, let me play another one. You yeah, right? I'm 0-2, but fuck it. This is my game. At what point do you, at what point do you give up? Right? No, for real. Like, is the third loss in a row? Is that the give up? You got the shit kicked out of you two times. Do you give up then? The, the 0-3 is it, huh? You ain't have you ain't have hope for that fourth game. Come on, dude. God, these people right here, one arm bandit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm glad everybody loved this. Everybody loved this here process, bro. Yeah, it was fun kicking the shit out of Fear No Beer and STW Soldier. Yeah, I had fun kicking the shit out of One Two Raul too. Yo, I love playing One Two Raul. Great, great fucking format, man. Great way to show who's the best player. 1-2 Raul, me and him got it in, bro. Fucking 1-2 Raul. That's a lot of 0-3 people out here, boys. 0-1. <laughs> some people some people just had enough out the gate. <laughs> Look at these guys. Yo, they had enough. <laughs> this is not what I thought it was, right? Yo. <laughs> Yo, let me boot up for this tournament. Oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> Back to war zone, right, boys? Back to war zone. <laughs> yeah, fast game, but I respect the 0-1s better than 0-3. I have zero respect for the 0-3. You at least got to give me all four games. The 0-1 guys, <laughs> like my man Sonic Dragon, you think he had time to play two games of Madden? He saw what he had to see. He played one game. He saw what he had to see. I've seen enough, right? He he had his moment. Yeah, he played Noah, Sonic Dragon. No Noah next up. Yeah. Oh, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Look at these guys, bro. Now I'll be honest. One and eight. Oh Jesus Christ. Three and ten. Yo, stick broke, bro. Mutt Duck 0 and 6. Now, I now I, I got some questions. Now this is not gonna matter. You know why shit like this isn't gonna matter, right? It's because 500 people joined the tournament. If this, if only 80 people made the tournament, oh, it would Everybody wouldn't be sucking the dick of this little format it, it, the way it is now. Cause I'll be honest, as a three and ten is better than 0 and 6. You can't go 0 for six. Three three for ten. That's that's you're hitting 300 right there. Right? No, you're not. You're hitting like 200 because it's 3 out of 13. All right. But you know. 0 oh, and 6. Yeah. It's, it, it, listen. It's easy. Oh, if you listen. And and, and and Wesley, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Is that. Bro, if you. I respect the man that goes 0, 0 and 13 more than 0 and 6. Because for you to go 0 and 6, you played for a good 3, 4 hours. What the hell else you want to do, bro? For real. Like, well, you're not going to play for five hours? At what? Like, 
this is my, for these guys, when's the giving up point, right? I respect a man like Roscoe. Roscoe, he's two and nine. He didn't give up. Yo, stick broke, bro. He, yo, he full sent the whole tournament. So that's why I don't know how you put a guy that's 0 and 6 over a guy that's 3 and 10. Not that it matters, because they shouldn't be in a tournament anyway. So let's let's go, let's get to the cutoff point. Cause the cutoff point is where where shit matters, right? The cutoff point. Because the cutoff point has always been the uh the the uh, controversial topic in Madden tournaments, Madden qualification, whether it be top four or whether it be uh what you can call it, whether it be top twenty eight. I for me as a Madden player, there was only one tough tournament to qualify for. That was the Madden Classic in eighteen when it was only twenty nine people. That was tough to qualify for. Um, every other tournament has been pretty much a walk in the park to qualify for. You know, that's how I feel. And 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 the the, the arguments uh, that I see everybody say it doesn't take three months to find out who's the best Madden player. I mean, it never does. It's never been hard to qualify if you're if you're if you're any bit of, uh, good. It's never been hard to qualify. Now, if you guys are out there and you haven't been able to qualify, then, um, you know, you just got to get a little bit better. That's all. And there's nothing wrong with that. The first step of getting better is realizing you have to get better, honestly. Okay. So here we are. Three and two. Okay. Respect. Madden 17 clubs. You know what? I made a decision to say fuck clubs. I'm in the middle of a Madden Bowl tournament. And I care about that more than I care about clubs. Skimbo qualified for clubs because he, he he wanted to. I didn't even I really didn't give a shit. At the time, probably because the Eagles weren't a part of it. I was just like, I don't really care. All right, so here we go with these guys. Now these guys are gonna get the shit kicked out of them round one. Now I'll be honest. I am I, I would a, a dude that sixes to these dudes, I'm probably gonna struggle. No, I do have my little converter here now. I have my converter, so I will be good on the PlayStation if this thing works. I will be good. I have this this thing right here. To con- I don't know why it's pink. I don't know what it like. I don't like. It just came pink. I'll plug it in. Plug in my Xbox controller. I will be honest. I will probably be hell at MLB the Show with my Xbox controller now. You guys don't know how much that PlayStation controller was holding me back. I might go crazy. So. But. As we get, what's the cutoff? Five twelve, right? So it's the next page. Damn. Poor Black Mamba, bro. You got to feel like a whole dickhead to be right here, boys. Right? All these 5-5 five and five guys. Y'all couldn't get one more win to qualify. You know what I'm saying? I understand that MLB comes out on Xbox, boys. Thanks for being Game Informer. My chat is Game Informer. Five and five, that's the cutoff. If you went five and five, you lost. That's it. Let's see who qualified over five and five. I mean, I'm not mad at anybody qualifying over five and five right here. Is three and two better than five and five? Yes. Game Informer. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at any of these records. I'm more mad about the uh, undefeated guy shouldn't be over a guy with wins, for real. That's what I care about, really. Seven and six? Yeah, man, I'm not too mad at any of this. I think three and two is better than five and five. I don't know, man. Like I said, if it can't, if if we got to a point where, um, this kept like if. Listen, I, let me tell you this right now. If this was, if only sixty people made the tournament, people would be crying their fucking minds out. Cause first of all, all you play is bots, right? Right. So if it's only sixty people. All of a sudden, I played Ghost in a game. So if I if I'm the guy that loses up and I play Ghost and I play Noah and I play somebody else, I wind up three and three. Oh, and you play Johnny Bravo and Boss Man, whoever the hell you play, 
and you go 6-0 and oh and you make it easily, bro, I'm telling you, it's easy because 500 people make it. Right, it doesn't matter. Like I could play go seven times, I'm still gonna go, you know, four and four and still make it. So it doesn't matter. But if 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 this cut down to only sixty people making it, oh, they would hate this format. They would hate it. They would absolutely hate it. Exactly, Eduardo. Exactly. And I do. I did love it. I did love playing in it. And if, if it was spread out for more than eight hours, maybe you wouldn't be able to get games as fast. You know, it's just, but it was good. And, and as far as a 500 person single elimination tournament, everybody is, listen, this is how it works. Everybody is, oh, if you fumble, you lose. If you turn the ball over, you lose, right? Right? Isn't 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 that the first thought process? You can lose so easy. You could get knocked out from fluky shit, right? Isn't that the first thing everybody brings up? Isn't that the first thing people bring up, right? So for me, how about we bring up damn, whoever wins this shit really ran the table, right? Whoever won, holy shit. God bless. They they deserved it, right? I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the month leaderboard more. I don't know. Honestly, leaderboards don't matter unless they make it. The to only the top sixty people make it, or only the top twenty people make it. If they continually let one hundred and twenty eight people, the shit doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how they do it. That's how I feel. Yeah, it could have been three hours. It could have been three days. For sure. But, like I said, way too much Madden. Vose plays fucking 16 hours of Madden a day. And he had the nerve way too much Madden. Not, not everyone is me. Who gives a fuck about other people? What the fuck? The average person. Here we go back with the, a the average person. Bro, if you're good enough, you qualify for every tournament. Bro, there hasn't been a tournament that I couldn't qualify for. I could have a no money spent team. I could have had I could have played 2 hours a day. There wasn't a tournament that I could not have qualified for. Hey, like I said, the only one was Madden 18. That Madden Classic was a bitch. That was the one once you got into the top 20 to top 15, you didn't play anymore. You were like, "I'm good. I'm taking my spot." Other than that, I could have qualified for every tournament with minimal effort and minimal money. You know? Show the Xbox. I mean, it's really nothing to see, dude. I, I There's nothing to look at. I think everything is cool, but it was fun. It was definitely fun to play. Madden on Twitch was popping. Everybody was streaming. I think Madden, Madden had a lot of people in it. I felt like it was dope. Right, boys? It was popping. It was fun. The same people dense, the same people would always qualify. They always qualify. Bracket challenge for 512. Everybody in the... Listen, all the viewers get one player and you got to follow that guy. <laughs> Yo, that would be hell. <laughs> Yo, let's take the 500 people. Hey, listen, the 500 people from the tournament, I'm going to give each of you guys one player. And if your player wins, you win a prize. Somebody might wind up with Malibu Boo. Somebody might wind up with Malibu Boo. Somebody might wind up with Noah. Somebody might wind up with Johnny Rocket. Who knows? That'd be funny as shit, dude. I want Nelson. Nelson is buns. <laughs> Sonic Dragon. No, that would be funny. That would be funny. You don't get any odds. You just win or lose. That's all. Obviously, if you get, you know what I'm saying? If you get Ward, you're not go Ward, did you qual? Did Ward qual? Ward, you ain't qual, man. I'll be honest, bro. If y'all didn't play in this, I don't ever want to hear y'all cap about Madden. Ever. 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 Y'all honestly can't, like, ever. 
If y'all not in this tournament, yo, y'all, I stop talking about Madden. I don't want to hear y'all. I don't want to hear y'all type in the chat about how to stop something, what play to run. I don't want y'all to tell me. I don't want y'all to tell me who's open when I throw a pick. I never want to see that. One two, Raul. Do we know the percentage of people using the Packers? Dense, bro. Probably 85, probably 80, 85%, really. But Rags has always been like that. I, I, I honestly, I, I feel like this is how, this is how people bring up the teams when they don't have anything else to talk about. You know, The unbalanced abilities. You know what? Maybe that's what they say in the NFL. You know? Maybe the Jaguars say this is some this is unbalanced. Why the fuck do I gotta play Patrick Mahomes? Why don't we have Patrick Mahomes? Right? Maybe the Bears get pissed off every time they lose to Aaron Rodgers, right? Why do we gotta play Aaron Rodgers? You know what? As much as much as we uh, bro, as much as we talk about it, bro, the abilities have really made the best players really tough. Devontae Adams is an absolute animal. In previous Maddens, a player like Devontae Adams wouldn't be that great. Like in previous Madden, yo, Valdez Scantling would be better than than Devontae Adams. In previous Maddens. When I grew up. MVS would be better than than Devontae Adams. And Devontae Adams is an absolute animal in, in regs. Right? Like, for real. Like, oh, shit, I got to play Aaron Rodgers. Well, guess what? That's how it is in regs. Right? And I don't really know any other cards. I, re- I played the Eagles one time. Fletcher Cox was giving me Cox. It's happening. Marquise Colston, right? Kane, this is how Madden has always worked. Has always worked with, uh, now Vose is talking about Tyrone Calico. A 16-year-old is talking about Tyrone Calico. Yes, Vose, somebody told you that, yes. I'm I'm aware somebody told you about uh, Tyrone Calico. Let the adults talk about this. If Mahomes had Gunslinger, nobody would use any other team. Who do we believe the bust out player is? Trey Thomas. Trey makes final 16 minimal. 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 That's my bust out player. Mallow wins it. Bro, Ted, if Mahomes had guns, I'm not even doing this argument. I'm not I'm not even doing this argument right now. I'm not. If Mahomes had gunslinger, it'd be it would be 100% Chiefs every game. If Trey wins the first game, he makes final 16. The first game, bro. He, you know, because this is what happens with Trey. He'd be too horned up. Trey be too hype. That'd be his problem. He'd be like, yeah, this is my opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Like, he pipes himself up like he's really playing the fucking Super Bowl. Right? Like, he, like he against the world. Like, this is some life or death shit. Swear to God. I promise you. Like, he thinks, like, this is his purpose on earth, man. Like, bro, I can't let anybody down. I gotta do, he he to do it for my family type of guy. For real. 
Yo, my whole family is relying on me. I got to do this. Today is the day. Yes, they pay the ultimate. I swear, but y'all laughing. But he really be thinking like this. The doubters pay the ultimate price. Like he be slapping himself in the mirror. Bro, dead ass. He can't sleep the night before. Bro. Like it's a fucking video game, dude. Like, bro, like, we like, cuz. <laughs> this shit is over. The best thing about winning is you can tell everybody to shut the fuck up. That's the best thing about winning. That's the best thing. I will tell you, the money, that shit disappear. The belt just be up there, right? The best thing about it is you can tell everybody, shut the fuck up. That's the best thing. Can nobody tell you shit anymore, Right? That is the only thing that stays. It's the only thing is your credibility. That's it. And honestly, this tournament don't have that much credibility. It don't. Different tournaments have different credibility. This one, Trey could win all four of these shits. People will say, say you suck. Shit don't matter. Nobody plays rags. Rags sucks. I swear to God. Don't, it don't matter that much. Yeah, this bro. Exactly, Raider. That's all it's about. Okay, you always champ. Once you become champ, you always champ. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This this tournament don't have no credibility. Unless somebody that already has credibility. No, seriously. This is how this is how it works. If 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 Trey wins, oh, this tournament didn't mean shit. If Joke wins or like Noah wins or Pavin wins, oh man, bro, add that to the resume, man. They just they just continue to dominate. Let J Wall win this shit. Oh my God, yo, add it to the 200K, man. He just having the most dominant year ever. That's just how it works, bro. That's how Madden works. That's how life works, bro. Get with it. Fuck no, Ted. You win this tournament, no. You'll get a little bit of respect, but no. Don't forget about you after that. Yeah, it w it would be better than the Doracell tournament. <laughs> the Doracell tournament. <laughs> oh man, bro! But it's just gonna be fun. Who won last year's classic? Was there a classic last year? Mo Mo won. A pro player franchise draft. What do you mean? Like if 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 we drafted the NFL players and we were in a franchise, um could you change the abilities or they're stuck with their abilities? There's a lot of questions to this. There's a lot of questions. Pavin was looking like Clef. I think that's disrespectful to Pavin, Mark Magic. The first five players in the Ultimate League draft, if you couldn't change the abilities, the picks would be Rodgers would be the first pick. Um, then it just depends. That's a stupid-ass question. It's a stupid-ass question because would you pick Brady because he's going to be gone the next year? He's 48 years old. Like, no, it's just a stupid question. It's, just, it's too many variables. But if it was for one season, it would be Rodgers, Brady, then it would probably be Mahomes. Then it would probably be like, I don't even know who. I think Julio's probably still a monster. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill would be snap pick too. Um, Reek would definitely be top five. Reek would go after the quarterbacks. Reek would go, if you couldn't get one of the quarterbacks, Tyreek would go to the next pick. McCaffrey too. McCaffrey has playmaker. Yeah. Lamar would probably be up there too. Kyler, yeah. But uh, I don't know, dude. It, it, it's too many variables. If if you're playing five years, uh, you could change abilities. You probably you probably wouldn't take Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? 
If you're playing one year, yeah, you take Tom Brady. But if you're playing a, a franchise, I mean, Derrick Henry, somebody would pick Derrick Henry. Somebody like the underrated king, that guy, he would pick Derrick Henry. All the Windy City Madden guys would pick Derrick Henry. All right, well, listen, since all y'all have the answers, that's why y'all play CFM. Me, I don't play CFM no more, bro. Is there a belt? I, 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 I don't know. Who knows, bro? Have y'all heard from Mark Koo? When was the last time we heard, like, seriously, like, It's no belt? No, it's just geez. Is it really? It's 15 grand, though, for a winner? It's not bad. It's not bad, bro. It's not bad. I'll take 15 grand. I would love to make... What's the what's the least amount of money they pay? 1000 to somebody? Like, final 16? Oh, my God. I would love to make that. What, you know, the worst... For me, I, I think my father is coming here tomorrow. Um, and then she's supposed to have her cousin and like their baby come oh. over this weekend. Like all bad, all bad for me. <laughs> it's all bad for me. I think my dad is coming for like two days. No, it, honestly, it's not like, it's not like people you hate having over. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference between like people that you like don't want to be with and people that are like cool. It's a different, like, it's definitely cool people. But even so, you if you playing Madden, then I feel like an asshole. Like, yo, I gotta go play Madden. Let me go upstairs and ignore you guys. Like, one, not only are you not focused, then you feel like you're an asshole. Like, it's a bad combo, right? Yeah, that's all. But, but at the end of the day, I mean, we have a newborn, so that's part of the life. It's part of the lifestyle with the newborn baby. You're going to have people over. And you're going to have people over at some sometimes that's not the best for you. My dad, I haven't seen my dad, though, since I had my baby. So definitely want my dad to come out here, you know. Yeah. With the tournaments and shit, that's, the, that, that's what I'm worried about. I, is PlayStation Saturday? So Sunday I have for Sunday for Xbox. That's, that's where I can make some money for real, for real. That's about it. <clears throat> My dad is bald, yeah. He's always had, like, hair, though. Not, You know what I'm saying? Like, he never went bald. He never shaved his head. He just always had bald, bald hair for real. Or he just was balding and just... trans. He just transitioned, full transitioned. They, they're both... They're, you gotta play their day. They're, like, both days... How many people do you guys think play both? Like, of, of, of the 500 people, how many do you think play both? 200? 100? Probably 200. I would probably say 200. Yeah. 80? I think so. I would probably say maybe not 200. But at least 100. Yeah. Yeah. What's my favorite cover four beater? Bro, I swear you can throw anything deep against Kobe. I feel like I don't cover shit. I don't fucking know, bro. I just go out there and throw the ball around, bro. Damn, so I got to play. So, like, what if you got to play your game and you're in a game on PlayStation, right? So, I'm assuming it starts, or is it like you can play anytime during the day? gravy no i'm not a pro player bro i'm the most proest player in the world me madden me top five madden players i've played what this year or my life this year's fancy fucking 
Steel City. <laughs> Life, it's uh, Skimbo Kiv and everybody else, really. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I don't know who I would even put. I don't know. The Pebble. Ted. Yeah, this year, I I, I didn't really play. Honestly, I really haven't played that many people this year. Really, really good people. I thought were really good. Dukes, Jesus. No, the Pebble was ass this year. I played Pebble. I played the Pebble. I played Pebble. Stop it. Don't be respectful. Don't be don't be respectful. Or don't be disrespectful. I played the Pebble. I put hands on the Pebble. The Pebble kind of weak this year, bro. The Pebble's kind of light. No, Marcus. The DC tournament is not this weekend. Where the fuck have you been? What white woman are you all up in that you don't that you got a question like that? Holy shit. How long before we see them switch all the tournaments to next gen? I would D smooth my guy with the five gifted. Um, next gen, I oh man. Next gen um was probably uh might be next year. Kiv or I mean, oh well, Journey's probably on the list of good. I've just played Journey so much that it's like sometimes I would win, sometimes I would lose. But then when I played him in the tournament, he popped me to one game. But Drenny is Drenny is probably top five for sure, bro. A uh, B is ass in Madden twenty one. All these dudes are ass. Pebble Pebble was not bad. He just wasn't high powered. I was more ready for the Pebble. You gotta understand, some of these guys catch you sleeping, bro. Like when you first play, when I first played the Pebble, I thought it was sweet. Wasn't sweet. When I first played Steel City, I thought it was sweet. You know? Okay, D, D smooth. Check it. Mo over Drink. Probably, yes. Mo, Mo has a really big resume. No, Drenny is not top three, Eddie. When I'm going to step on ZZL's field. GGL is at the GGL fell off this year. There are another group of guys that really just fell off with no running game, bro. Problem is number one. Then Skimbo. Then probably Mo. Then maybe Drinny and Kiv and Joke is in there and Gene, of course. Earl has Earl has whispered me, boys. Earl has whispered me. Do we answer? Do we answer? I'm still timed out. Earl is back. Gene and and then I miss a lot of people. Little man. Little man. I mean, Pavin, Pavin, I mean, why isn't Pavin over little man? You know, like Pavin, I know it's only been like three years, but shit, Pavin's kind of going crazy. If somebody drops 150 on Earl to be banned another 24 hours, where's Bugs on my all-time list? Is he higher than Little Man? I don't know, dude. It's a lot of players from 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 10 to 30. Best players without a belt. Um, Clef and. The TN Sears. Well, not well shit. J Wall has a belt now. The TN Sears. And uh who else? Bugs. The eight one eighters. Wesley's fucking lay down, bro. 
problem. I mean, problem has I like let's be honest. Problem has mad major championships. To say to say problem doesn't have a belt is like just ignoring his whole life. Really, <laughs> it's just stupid. It's funny to laugh at my friend problem, because, but at the end of the day, bro, like he's got hella championships. Milo, bro, how did you get banned? How do y'all get banned in Skimbo stream ever? How did y'all get banned? And what do y'all do to get banned in streams, bro? Like, what do y'all do to get banned? I don't think I've ever gotten banned in a stream. Maybe I have a check mark next to my name so people don't ban me. But I don't get fucking banned. I don't know. All right, here we go with the list. Uh, who are some streamers that you're banned? Give me the streamers. Give me uh, who's the biggest. Who has the biggest ban hammer in the Madden community? Who has the biggest ban hammer? The Fox? I just say hi, what's up, bro? I don't really be like chatting old D. Jemiah. The Fox? Y'all got banned in the den? Like, bro, how do y'all get banned in the den? What? The, how would y'all ever get banned in the den? You, yo, you guys, yo, to get banned in the den, in the den is disgusting, bro. What do you say to get banned in the, den, in the den? To get banned in the den, you have to just come off the top ropes right away. Fuck all you nerds. Like, that's the only way. But how do you get banned? I don't understand. I, first of all, the den isn't in Madden games that often. I check in the den probably two or three times a week. It's not in games that often. So what is there to really troll? You can't troll the menu. You can't troll the chat. I don't understand how you get banned. Y'all soft. Y'all soft, bro. Y'all soft, bro. Skin bone. Skin bone's pitching sucked. You say something that is PG-13 in Skimbo's chat, you're taking a lap. Oh, Earl definitely gets banned. He's the town drunk. Like that Earl bans on Earl don't count. We cannot hold that against y'all. Like that does not count for that doesn't count for bans for real. That's like that bro. Earl got to take Honestly, what's great about my chat now is that I don't even have to ban him. Somebody pays 150,000 channel points to ban him for 24 hours. Like that that's how it's gotten for me, bro. I don't have to do shit. I just sit here and play video games. I look down, somebody redeemed 150,000 channel points. Bye bye Earl. See you tomorrow. I got to start banning more people, bro. Let's 
There's a lot of people in the ghoulie. There's a lot of people in the ghoulie Monduli, boys. All right, let's talk about our boss bot. Let's talk about our weekend of, of bot wars, which was my most successful weekend on this uh, Twitch platform. And I hope you guys all watched. I'm sure. And I actually, if you didn't watch Boss Bot Wars, I do have the past broadcast up. I don't know how how absolutely scuffed all the sounds are in it and how muted it is. Let me see. Let me go take a look. I Last time I looked, there was 44,000 people. Yeah, 44,000 views on the... Which, I don't know how views work on Twitch. Like, I don't know if somebody just clicked it. I don't know if 44,000 people... I don't know. But that's how many views I have on my recent broadcast. It's probably scuffed to life with the volume and everything. I hope you guys watched it. Um, but now... The Turtle Streets. Lou will always have an open invite. Now, what, what, listen... I don't even know when Bot Wars 3 will be. I don't know when it'll be. I don't know if we even have a Bot Wars 3. Who knows? I, we might retire on top of the world. We were top. We were number two trending topic in America on Friday. We got to number five trending topic in America on Saturday, which is insane. Um, the tweeters were popping. We got 5,000 viewers on a Madden stream in February. Um, which is comparable to EA Majors this year. It is. It is. It is 1 million percent comparable. 1 million percent. Um, so, it was definitely a W. We went from the first boss bot wars, the Mortal Kombat 1. We got 3,000. And I was super excited for 3,000 people this weekend. We got, uh, we definitely got 5,000. I didn't hit any, I, I didn't hit any ads. I didn't hit any ads, as you say. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't, you know, we just killed it. Everybody watching, nobody saw any ads, nobody saw nothing, bro. Now, one of my new ideas, as you, as Jesse brings up applications, we are going to have video applications for Boss Bot Wars 3. What's going you're going to have to submit a video of why we want you on the show. Now, of the four people, <laughs> of the four people, Lou, if Lou plays, he's a, Lou is a, Lou is one of the four people. Video applications, right? <laughs> now, we'll, we'll figure all this out. Um, if Lou is here, he's one of the four people, for sure. Um, and I, I'll ask Vilma if he wants to play. If Vilma wants to play, we'll put him in one of the four for the uh, prelim tournament. Uh, and then, then we'll have two spots of all the videos. We might pick one person out of those videos. Oh, EA didn't let Vilma join the classic. Yeah. Vilma's in that Vilma's now in the black bald territory. Yeah. He said the F word it is what it is, bro. I've been trying to tell him, bro, he don't need the shit, but. We got to bring, but Bobby is back. He won a game, so he's here. Yes, Vilma, Vilma's not allowed to compete because he typed the F word in um in the Discord. The bad F word. Maze? Yeah, Bird is gone. Uh, the, yo, we will, we, listen. We will break down all the video applications, boys. All right? We will break down all the video applications, trust me. Yeah. I honestly didn't know that uh, Vilma wasn't allowed to play in the Classic either. So, I didn't know that. An international streamer. Trust me, man. I picked the best. Trust me. Listen. Don't question the judgment, boys. Jeremiah. Nobody he didn't Jeremiah, nobody knows what Jeremiah looks like? Is that real? Yeah. 
No, Trey will never play in Bot Wars ever. Like literally, that like y'all, y'all don't understand how adamant I am about Trey never being a part of Bot Wars. It will never happen. It literally will never ever happen. Like he, bro. I'm honestly, he not even allowed. I, I'm honestly about to ban him from streams when it, when it happens and let him back when Bot Wars is over. Legend in Bot Wars. I mean, you, bro. They said no, nah, Legend. You might be too tough. You might be too tough. Because last time, honestly, Legend, what's crazy is, and the chat knows this, when I started when I started going through the list, when I started going through the list, Vos started saying, no, they're too good. Swear to God. Vos was the only person. Earl was like, I don't care. Bring everybody. Jay Bird was like, I don't care. I'll play anybody. Salty was like, I'm Salt Nation. Vos was like, Vos was like, no, they're getting too good. Pretty soon we'll have Wesley and, and J Wall and Bot Wars. Drop Vols? Hashtag drop Vols? Damn. I mean, listen. Bot Wars is for the community, man. If I hear, if there's a petition, if there's a petition, <laughs> if there's a petition, if there's a real petition, I like watching him lose. Vos, I I don't know how Vos continues to because he hasn't lost yet. He hasn't lost the lad the first game. The only person that loses out of, that is removed is the person that loses the first game. Like Earl will never be gone, bro. Like he would have to like really lose. Like he would have to lose like four times in a row one time, bro. And that's the beauty. And honestly, that's the beauty of it. We'll always get to watch Salt Nation and Earl. You know what I'm saying? The five time. That is the beauty of the... That's the beauty of the format. You know? Like, everybody in Madden has some type of personality. It's just, with the Madden tournaments, there's been so many different people that it's hard to really, not only root for people, but root against people. Let's be honest. All you guys that said drop votes, y'all gonna be happy as shit when he once again loses again. You know, and that's the beauty of bot wars. You get people to root against and root for. That's the beauty of it. If I put four new people in there, maybe you don't have the same feelings for them. Salty and Vols game. Did Salty play Vols? Oh, you talk about how the game was so shitty. Oh man, I'll be honest. Salty, the real salty, bro. We have to start bot wars at at, at noon. Listen, it. We have to start it at noon. We have to because salty cannot be the real salty. The timing of bot wars is holding salty back. Spider. Yeah, Salty might need an Airbnb or some shit, bro. We did see the real Salty versus Little Man. Since that game, Salty has been... He's been on punishment. Bob, boss Bot Wars 7 land might go nasty. That's when we'll have Bot Wars America. When we get to 10,000 subs, Bot Wars America, we'll get the bus, we'll drive around America. Bot, <laughs> boss Bot Wars 7. Can we bring back Little Man? Little Man is on the short list to be brought back. But uh, there's a lot of potential people for Boss Bot Wars 3. Um, I'm working on the video. I got a couple people helping me. The best of Boss Bot Wars 2. Now, what was the favorite parts? Now, obviously, Bobby's game against uh, Deliverance and Bobby vs. Vos. Those are those are probably the best games. Uh, we got to get a lot of the tweets in there in the video. We have to we have to go ahead and and get the tweets. BG the the f bomb gamble. You know what I'm saying? Bobby vs. BG. 
Joel getting blanked for the most part. Earl versus Salty is always legendary. You know what I'm saying? Make the qualifier at eight, man. We getting a little too crazy, bro. The smoke detector. <laughs> oh my. Like, bro, it's so tough. Like. And I wanna give, and I wanna give, I have I have two files. I actually have three files. I have the the the, the Friday night tournament, right? I have Saturday night tournament. Then I have Saturday night tournament with the chat, right? So the chat being in the video is awesome. I feel like the chat enhances every video. Admiral Bird, we need it. Yes, we need to have salt. Like, bro, there's so much shit, for real. And it's like, I, 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 I don't think I can give these videos to somebody else and let them decide what needs to be in the video, right? I feel like I have to take the time to do this shit. And it's, it takes a while, boys. It's not that it's not y'all. That's what I'm saying. It's not the chat doesn't decide to be like one person. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, when he was like, "You, you're not the one that has to. You're not the one that has to live with it. You're not the one that has to live with the smoke detector." It's a lot of shit, bro. Can we vote on the next theme? I don't know what what theme. I don't know what theme. Civil Maze, Lou, and Vilma. It's not a bad four. It's not a bad four. It's not a bad four. Am I ever going to team up with commentary? I don't think I, I would ever team up with commentary. Because one, half of the commentary is the players, right? Then another part of the commentary is the tweeter and the chat. I think what makes Bob Wars is the chat is all of us, for real, for real. Prelims, bro. Prelims went nutty. Lou doesn't beat Vilma, Eddie. No, Lou doesn't beat Vilma. Prelims, they were fighting for a shot. They had see, you know what, Eduardo? The ones that you know, the bots that are already locked in, they're a little, they're a little too, they a little too. Uh, the bots that are already locked in, they're a little too comfortable. Honestly, they're a little too comfortable. Like the Vos and the Salties and them, they might be a little too comfortable. Where they're at, complacent. Yeah, they started with a bang, but they're a little bit, they're a little bit complacent right now. For real, for real. I'm telling you, bro. The next, the next boss, secret boss. Since throne was the first secret boss, after you get thrown as the first secret boss, then the second secret boss. I mean, bro, you can go anywhere with it, bro. Bro, Joel got annihilated. And you think he needs another shot? Squads bot wars. Bobby is locked. He's in the he's in the Yeah, let's call MMG, bro. You're right. I since Throne was here, I, let me DM MMG right now. Let's go. Cena? Do, do we DM Cena again? I can't lie. Vos, Earl, and, and Salty on the same team would be nasty. I think, listen, I think when I look back at it, now I was panicking. Right, as as the producer of the show, right, I was panicking when when you guys were turning on the salty and Vols matchup. I was I was like, what the fuck can I do? Right, I was like, oh shit, it's going downhill. 
right? I was like, fuck, what can I do? But when I look back at it, you got to have some bullshit. Ma- you got to have some bullshit matchups because we can laugh at them, right? Yeah, like we. I had to put the video up. We started watching other shit, right? You got to try, like you got to be able to finesse the shit. Not every game can be high octane. And that's one of the problems with Madden in general. A lot of games suck. Like, for real. A lot of games suck. Sports, too. Like, a lot of games are boring as shit. For real, for real. You gotta have lows to have the highs, bro. And that's one of the... Honestly, that's one of the biggest... Problems and, and people do this and like when you watch a basketball game and it's a twenty point blowout, it's hard to commentate. Like I, I, I did the next level college shit right, and I did Prodigy versus Noah, and Noah just beat Pro, beat the shit out of Prodigy two games in a row. I'm like, uh, yeah, like what do you want me to say? The game's over. <laughs> like Noah's up two scores in the third quarter, running the ball. It's like, bro, this game's over. Like, what do you want me to tell you? You know, and that's that's where you have to uh, you got to tell your jokes and you got to talk with the chat and you got to do some other shit for real, for real. Yeah, Bobby's games were nuts. It looked like they were going to be ass for real. Yeah, I was like, bro, that first get versus deliverance. I'm like, damn, this might be ass. <laughs> Bobby was like, you watch my stream for three weeks. Like, damn. Bobby will be back. Bobby will be back for the uh, for the next one. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I don't want to do this shit every two weeks. I don't want to do the. I honestly don't even want to do this shit every month. I want to be sporadic. I think we're killing it the way it is for real, for real. Who knows? <laughs> Some of the cap was deep. Oh, chaos? A chaos secret boss? I can't lie, though. I think, you know, after Chaos's um, uh, Madden Classic clip, I think he's been chill since then. Yes, that's the throne that's what I said, bro. That's, though, that chaos we got from the, oh, my gosh, that guy is not a real person, bro. Bro, that's not that's not a real person now. He made it like he's too complacent. He complacent is the word. He's on chills. Yeah, like he he be on way too much chills now. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I lost a lot of respect to Earl for not pausing while that kid was getting yelled at. (laughs) Oh, shit, bro. Boogs is too good for bot wars. Yeah, for sure. Earl beats Boogs. Y'all would pick Boogs over Earl right now? in, In a bot wars game? Not in a regular game. In the bright lights of Bot Wars, y'all would pick Earl or who would y'all pick? Bugs or, or Earl? On a mic game in the bright lights of Bot Wars, y'all would pick Bugs? I don't know. I will be honest. When I had Boogs on my uh, my 3v3 team, I don't think we've ever lost a game, really. I don't think we've ever lost a game with me and Boogs on the on, When Boogs was my quarterback on 3-on-3, three on three, I don't think we ever lost, for real, for real. <laughs> Boogs been moving for 72 weeks. Uh...
Bro, Earl definitely got bot wars magic, bro. That shit gets worse every 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 week. His bot wars just power gets worse. It really gets worse. Now throne, throne kind of cream pie him though. I'll be honest. I don't know, or maybe Earl lost his power because like he it was over the the emotion of winning another bot wars and a secret boss. Maybe Earl didn't have a secret boss power. Like he didn't have a secret boss. Like he didn't have the. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have the uh, the drive to to beat the secret boss too. You know what I'm saying? Vos, how about this, Vos? How about you go ahead and you go ahead and make your own fucking bot wars, and then you can decide where people play and where they don't. Hashtag drop Vos right now, bro. The whole point, the secret boss was that that was the finale. You asshole. God damn, bro. Make your own fucking bot Vos Wars. Go make both go make Vos Wars. Vos always questioning shit. God damn. Drop Vos, bro. He is getting a little too complacent. I might make him the first game. I might make him the first game. I think that's what we do. Vos gotta play for his life. He getting way too complacent. He got I'm moving Bobby V over Vos, bro. That's what we're doing. Vos is the first game. If he loses, he's fucking out. He's like he's like three and thirty-eight all times in bot wars. He's the first game. He loses. He's out. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he's too complacent, bro. Hawk, my guy, with the five gift, the five gifted. V Vos is the main attraction. Ted, Gus, Gus. First of all, Cat, Gus, you need to change the Twitch to Gus. If Vos is the main attraction, there will not be a boss bot wars three. Yeah, that's Ted. Ted, his name is Gus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Speaking of bot wars. Speaking of bot wars. Ragusa. <laughs> what throne call him? Ragusa. Yo, there he is. Ragusa. <laughs> Ragusa. His name is not Ragusa. Bro, they told everybody. The chat told me it's Rag USA, bro. That's what they told me. Chat, chat laughed. His name is fucking Rag USA, bro. <laughs> His name is Rag USA. Yo, I don't know if this person is a real person. This Rag guy, I don't know if he's a real person. The pictures he sends me is like this is not really you, bro. Let me drop Vos for Maze. Rag with the four months, a legend. Bro, listen. Listen. You guys know I take all your ideas. I listen to your ideas. But at the end of the day, trust the ideas, bro. All right, boys? All right, boys? Just trust. Just trust that we'll put together the best the best outcome. Pony? Post my Jones, the legend. What's up, man? Ragusa. I like Rag USA, honestly. I'm going back to Rag USA. It's a lot of options out here, boys. It's a lot of options. But we we will see what the best Vos is definitely Vos is definitely to lose in your fucking out game. I'll tell you that right now. That's 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 that honestly, Vos from now on, Vos is to lose in your out game forever. Find some talent. Oh, that's a great idea. Post my Jones with they gifted. Skimbo with the bust out. Search the directory for some talent. Vos is game one forever, bro. 
search the directory. We need a female. Yeah, let's wait, wait. Come on, bro. Stop it. No. Who the fuck said that? Elmo? We need a female in Boss Bot Wars. Yeah. That's going to be fucking fun to watch. Who was the who was the girl that was on uh, Madden Nation? <laughs> PG-13. Yo. That was her name. PG-13. Oh, uh, it would get na I can't lie. It would get nasty if there was a woman on Bot Wars. Oh my god, it would get we would get canceled. We would get canceled though. No, if there was a woman on Bot Wars, the chat would be unreal. Oh my god, the tweets, the tweeter, the tweeter if there was a woman. Oh my god, dude. No, it it would not happen. It could not happen. It really could not happen. It could not happen. Oh my god, it would be nasty. It would be nasty. Oh yeah, we'd be done. We'd be done. Imagine if a woman beat Vose. Vose kind of has that like that 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 womanly look, right? Doesn't he have like not like the like you know, like I didn't want to say the lesbian look, but you know, like that, you know. <laughs> no, not Ellen. Ellen is a little more like I'm. I'm like a little more like, you know, like. Y'all are nasty, bro. Carol from Walking Dead. I don't know if lesbian is TO. I don't know what TOS is. They don't send me an email every day and say you can't. I, I know you can't say virgin. And you can't say something else. Vos Rapino. Yeah. You can't say simp incel. What a nasty incel simp wow what a world wow boys you really just said every word you said every word chat thanks boys thanks boys thank you thanks boys you guys ruined it bro what's gonna happen is i'm gonna be i'm gonna be streaming on youtube and facebook and are you guys gonna join no you guys aren't gonna be here it's not gonna happen yes boss bot wars will be on youtube Facebook gaming. I was going to go on Facebook gaming. I dabbled into Facebook gaming. I might start coin selling. Facebook gaming. No, Facebook. I thought they had the bag. I thought they had the bag. They didn't really have the bag. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Maybe next year. Bro. Maybe next year. Unban requests? Is it time for the unbannies? Who do we even ban? Who got banned? Some of you guys got banned? Oh, I, d I definitely got low balled from uh Facebook gaming. Got low balled from uh Yeah, I got low balled for that. Why is Vos still banned, bro? Like what Oh Vo let's see if oh we got a lot. We got ten unbanned requests. Okay. Z in the building, bro. Uh oh, so here we go. Like, I don't even want Vos like in the unbanned request, bro. Chat. 
Shibata Mitch. I gotta deal with this shit. Make me the so I can flood this shit out of all the and make soup man goes down. Oh man. Deny. Someone got 150 ready. Somebody has 150 ready. Somebody has 150 ready. Somebody has 150 ready. Somebody got 150 ready. Miles. Who is this fucker? I think I played him in MLB. I think this was an MLB guy. No, this was an MLB guy. It was. And I swear he beat me. And he came in here and said this shit. I swear to God. He had to, he had to take a lap, bro. He had to take a lap. I didn't, I didn't like that shit, bro. Yo, the MLB kids be so fast to come in your chat. It's on, like, bro. All right, look at Clef, bro. Bro, like, what the fuck, bro? Unbans is nasty right now. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yo, Johnny Hot Lava. Johnny Hot Lava. <laughs> Vol's getting busted. <laughs> oh, man. Auto promote Bobby. <laughs> the please hate fools, bro. Is this it? We just literally put penises in here. What? BB, anybody BB and Nate bans is just unbanned instantly, bro. If Nate ban, how when did Nate ban somebody? Yo, that was though Nate ain't been a mod in forever. Drag. Fucking hate Dukes, bro. Fucking hate. I fucking hate Dukes, bro. Dukes got to figure it out. Cover your bald ass head, buddy. 
I hate Bo Jackson. Get your gorilla face off the screen, Joel. That was a little wild. It was a little wild. I mean, Noah Noah would have bust out banning. I didn't know Noah banned people. Like, I didn't know. Like, this is kind of bust out for Noah to ban somebody. I don't know. Deny this guy? Terminator? 2,500? Top shot of Ryan. I mean, this is crazy. I don't know if Ward. I don't think. I don't think there's anything that Ward is better at, bro. Honestly, I really don't. Is this <laughs> Ward? Yo, Ward is. Hold on. Ward is the worst player on the planet. <laughs> Is Ward the worst player on the planet? Ward, you better be ready for chat trials on Warzone. That's all I'm saying. You better be ready for chat trials on Warzone. All I'm saying, buddy. Is Eduardo playing tonight? Is Eduardo playing tonight? Where's Eddie Mac at, bro? Eduardo? Yeah. Warzone chat trials are back, Jesse. They're back. There's a new season of Warzone, so me and Wint, we, we, we back at chat trials, bro. Once the new map, whenever the new map drops, we're locked. We are locked. All right, that boy, relax, bro. You, that boy is the biggest letdown uh, in chat trial history, honestly. That boy was a letdown. He came in crazy. I'm getting at least five. Bro, out of like, no, Jay Gill, what? But he didn't cap it. That boy came in the joint like, I'm getting at least five. Bro, he's been in chat trials like 10 times. That doesn't have five kills total. <laughs> Jay Gill. No, it wasn't Jay Gill. It was Kate Dillon. You getting the wrong person right here. It was Kate Dillon, witness. Not Jay Gill. Jay Gill is chill. Mike Lethal. Yo, Mike Lethal is the best random, bro. K. Dillon was ass. Mike Lethal went crazy. They said Turb got hacks. And and Almighty Trey got hacks. Thoughts on Tiger Woods. I hope he's alright, bro. Like what? <laughs> Something like what that yo, Emmy was going nuts, bro. That dude was pfft. Turb got banned on Apex? Is that why his account? Bro, is that why he had to get a new account? To buy? I couldn't remember the password. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, Turb had to get a new account? He definitely on a new account. Bro. Blackie Gaming, my guy with the 20 mumps. I do want to just, here we go. Listen, bro. The thing with cheating on video games, man. I've said this on other stream. Um, For me, like, listen. The joy in video games is winning, bro. That's the joy. Like, like that's why you play video games. Whether you're playing... Whether you're playing Metal Gear Solid and you beat the final boss in Metal Gear Solid, or if you're playing Zelda, or you're playing Mario, or you're playing... Yo, for me, when I was a kid, when I finally beat Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat... No, seriously. When I finally beat Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat, I was hype as shit. Right? And Eduardo, when I win games with Ward, I be hype as shit. Like, that shit is fun. 
Like, that's the joy of the game, right? And winning Madden games, that's fun. Now, I don't know what your percent. Now, obviously, my percentage winning in Madden is bigger than my percentage winning in Call of Duty, right? Everybody has different winning percentages. Even if you're a shitter and your win percentage is you only win one game of Warzone a month, that one win is worth playing every single night, right? Or if you win once a week, say you win once a week, once a month, once a night maybe, that one win is worth it. That's pretty much worth playing the game, right? So if you gave yourself cheats to make it that easy, where is your joy? For real. Like, what is the point of playing if you don't have that same joy? If you don't have that same joy that we all get from playing games, then are you, like, I don't understand why you like it, really. No, Shao Kahn, I finally beat Shao Kahn one time with, whatchamacallit, I beat Shao Kahn with Sub-Zero. I had to freeze him. That was the only character I could beat Shao Kahn with. Now, I was probably, like, the assest player. Like, I was ass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, But for me, uh, Shao Kahn, I, I'll never forget how hype I was, bro. I was hype as shit. Well, I, I caught him with a freeze and an uppercut for the win. I was hype as shit. Goro was tough, but he wasn't Shao Kahn. He wasn't Shao Kahn, bro. It's not even about, yo, you can play for fun. We all play for fun. But even that, like, one, like, that, just getting that one win one time is like, I remember when, like, the first time I won on Fortnite, bro. I was happy as shit. Like, Fortnite win, any win. It was just like, bro, we finally got one. Fall Guys, bro, like, finally getting the, th the little crown on Fall Guys. Bro, that shit was fun. And to think, like, to think that people cheat in these games, like, for real. I was definitely ass. I was definitely not ass. See, you're not good at any fucking game. That's what I'm talking about. Dudes that aren't good at any fucking game cap about video games. Like, what? I hate that shit. Like, shut up. You watch Twitch. That's what you do. That's in your fucking profile. Twitch watcher. You know what's in my fucking profile? Esport champion. Your shit says, your shit says, uh, Twitch watcher. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Dudes be capping at me to my ass. Ah, damn. Needle Podcast episode 119. 